This is the third section of volumes of revolution, adding and subtracting volumes. And this is going to be where maybe you have a more complex volume to work out. And where we may spot that we've got like maybe a, a cylinder or a cone that we can add or subtract to find the volume of revolution. So for example, let's say that we had some sort of graph that went like that. And um, we had another line, let's say it goes through the origin, and it went like that. And I want to find this area here. So what I could do is if I integrate between the limits of A and B, I will get all of this area. Yeah, but I don't want all of that area. What I can do is I notice that this area here is, is like a triangle rotated around the axis, it will be a cone. So I could take that area that I highlighted in yellow and subtract the area of this red bit which rotated around 2 pi will become a cone. So it will probably look a bit like this when it's rotated 360 degrees. Something like that. Okay, so it's going around 360 degrees like that, some sort of cone. And the height of the cone is going to be this measurement here. And the radius of the cone, base radius, is going to be that. Yeah, and I can solve simultaneously to work out coordinates and then use those to work out length. Okay, so we've got this region R, which is colored in blue, and it's bounded, in other words, the outline of the shape is made by the x axis, the y axis, this line here and this curve here, and they all form the outline of um, that area there, which I'm guessing we're probably going to have to find in a minute. But the first thing we need to do is to verify that these coordinate, or this coordinate here is 1, 3. Easy. What we're going to do in both equations, we'll substitute 1 in and see if we get 3 out. So y equals x cubed plus 2. Right, so if I make x equal to 1, like that, what do I get for 3? y is 3. Okay, so it verifies that it works for this. I'll do the same for the other one. y equals 5 minus 2x. So again, replace x with um, 1. And what do I get? y equals 3. So again, it verifies it for that. Nice, easy start to the question. Part B. Now, what does it say just before part B? A solid is created by rotating the region 316 about the x-axis. Find the volume. Now, we can find the volume or this area here. Yeah, and rotate that around. So that's 0 and this is 1. Okay, but then we're left with this bit here. So when that's rotated 360 degrees, that's going to be a cone. Now, what's the height of the cone going to be? It's going to be from a different color. It's going to be from here to here. That's the height of the cone. And the radius of the cone, well, that's just this measurement here. That's easy enough. That is going to be 3. So we've got a cone that has radius of 3. And the height, well to find the height, I need to find this coordinate here. And that's where this line crosses the x-axis. In other words, when y equals 0, So that gives me an x value of, so I'll have 2x equals 5, so x equals 
5 over 2. x equals 5 over 2. Okay, so that's what this coordinate is here, 5 over 2. So the height of the cone is the difference between 5 over 2 and 1. So that's 3 over 2, you know, or 1.5. So I have the radius of the cone and the height of the cone. So I can work out the volume of this cone. And that volume is one third pi r squared h that's one third pi times by r squared three squared times by h three over two i'm going to leave the answer in terms of pi for the minute so that's one third times by pi times by 3 squared times by 3 over 2, and we get 9 over 2 pi. Okay, so I'm going to keep that to one side, because I'm probably going to have to add that to the volume of revolution. Now the volume of revolution is going to be this red bit here. Okay, so I'm now going to be working out this bit here, using integration right so i'm going to be integrating remember it's pi times or pi and the integral between zero and one and the top of that is going to be x cubed plus two and that's all squared dx yeah so remember volume of revolution pi integral y squared uh, when this is rotated about the x-axis so let's square all of that so pi two and one so if i've got oh sorry it's x cubed here not x squared if i've got x cubed plus two all squared that'll give me x to the power 6, x cubed times by x cubed. Then I have 2x cubed plus another 2x cubed, 4x cubed. Then I'll have 2 times 2, 4. Right. So it's going to be pi times bond. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Next one, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. And the last one, becomes 4x with limits of 0 and 1. So I'm going to now work out what that is. So if I put 1 in, it's basically going to be um, 1 seventh plus 1 plus 4, which is 36 over 7, minus when I put 0 in, I'm taking away nothing so that gives me a volume of 36 over 7 pi so the total volume is 36 over 7 pi plus 9 over 2 pi and we get let's do that quickly on the calculator 135 over 14 pi, and I'll leave it like that as an exact answer, and it will be units cubed. Right, okay, diagram shows region bounded with curves. Uh, we have the equations of the, the curves. And the line x equals 1, which is this one there, x equals 1. It's rotated around 360 degrees. Find the exact volume of the solid generated. So no cones or cylinders here. What I'm going to do is work out the area underneath this curve here by integrating 
um, between something and one. So I'll need to solve simultaneously to work out what that lower limit is. Uh, yeah, so integrate this, the one over eight X. Then I'm going to actually find the area underneath the red line, which is actually all of this. Yeah, and I'll do that by integrating again between this unknown limit, which I'll work out, and one. And I'm going to be integrating root x, um, yeah, actually squared and pi here squared and pi here because I'm going to work out the volume and then just do the red area take away the purple area so the first thing I need to do is to find out what this is what is that coordinate so I need to find the intersection of root x and 1 over 8x so let's write this down intersection of y equals root x and y equals 1 over 8x so that's going to be root x equals 1 over 8x we can swoop square both sides so we get x equals 1 over 64x squared we can times both sides by 64x squared so we get 64 um, x cubed equals 1 then divide both sides by 64 x cubed equals 1 over 64 we'll cube root both sides and we'll get x equals a quarter so this is that this lower missing limit that I was missing a quarter that's going to go in so first of all let me find this red area so i'm going to call it the red well actually not the red area the red volume the bit that's shaded in red and that will be pi the limits of one and a quarter of root x squared right so what happens here well root x squared is just x so one and a quarter so I'm just basically integrating this so I'll have pi and then what I'll have is you add one to the power divide by the new power so half x squared between one and a quarter so that's going to be a half times by one squared minus a half times by a quarter squared we'll work that out so that's basically a half minus a half again times by a quarter squared which is 1 over 16 so I get 15 over 32 okay so this is the um, volume of the red bit now I want to work out the purple volume and I'm going to subtract that from the red volume to get just a bit I want so the purple volume same limits one and a quarter but this time I need to square one over eight x dx right so if I square an eighth I get 1 over 64 x squared now I want to write it in a form that's easier to integrate so this is going to be 1 and a quarter here so this will be 1 over 64 x to the power negative 2 so if I integrate that I'll just realize up here I need to put my pi in there so there should be a pi attached to that and I just realized as I was doing the pi for this one uh, 
and same limits I'm going to put those at the end right so if we integrate that add 1 to the power which will be minus 1 divide by minus 1 so we end up with negative 1 over 64 with limits of 1 and a quarter so I'll work this out now working that out we will get 3 over 64 pi okay now we put these two together to get the volume required okay so volume of revolution of the area or the region r is 36 over sorry not 36 15 over 32 pi plus 3 over 64 pi What does that give us? Pi. So 15 over 32 plus 3 over 64. 33 over 64 pi. Sorry, let me correct myself. Why am I adding them? I'm subtracting them. I hope I didn't say add before. I'm taking the red one and subtracting the purple one not adding them together actually forgot what I was actually meant to be doing so that actually 15 over 32 sorry about that minus 3 over 64 27 over 64 27 over 64 pi is the final volume Right, you should now be able to do exercise 5C on pages 81 to 83 of the textbook.